guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name is Kimberly thank you guys so much for stopping by so in today's video I'm actually going to be doing a review and demo on the Too Faced this is the Born This Way foundation and I'm also going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer so we're just going to test both of these items out together so I'm going to go ahead and get started so I already have done my brows I've done the eyes and everything that I need to do there so the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation so when I use my foundation I'm just going to take a pump of it here get it on the back of my hand there and I'm going to start out using a beauty blender guys and this is just what I love to apply my foundation with first and then I'm going to come back and show you a little trick that I've been doing here lately so I just like going ahead and just putting it all over the face area like that and here lately I've been going ahead and buying my foundations probably somewhere around the one to two shades darker than I am I like a darker foundation I, to me I'm someone that I would rather be darker than too light so that's just the look that I've been going for here lately so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this again I have a damp beauty blender and I'm just pouncing this into the skin now what I definitely liked about this foundation was as soon as I picked it up guys and as soon as she did the um, the color I cue on me which I didn't know exactly what foundation I was thinking maybe honey I'm thinking honey would have worked okay with me but this actually happened to be my color and I'm in caramel for those of you that are wondering so I'm just gonna go ahead and just really just blend this in as you can see when it gets to the top you can see that my I'm a little more brown on the edges as opposed to the rest of my face I'm really not worried about it there because again I always go in and I just um, warm that area up so I'm just gonna go and just pat around so like I was saying before I just take a wet beauty blender and what I do is I just pounce it all into the skin and guys, one thing that makes me really frustrated when I'm doing my videos is when people come back and answer me like, what color foundation are you wearing? Or what is this? Or what is that? Especially if I'm doing a review demo or something like that, guys, I'm actually going to tell you as well as I will also list it in the description box. So you just have to either look there or you either have to watch the entire video. I know someone answered me that in the last one and I'm not going to reply to stuff like that because that's to me, that's just common knowledge. So, as you can see, I kind of have it on right now. You can still see it's not my original skin color. That's fine. But the next thing I like to do is I like to actually go in with a brush. So, this is my Real Techniques. This is the foundation brush or the buffing brush. So, I'm just going to take this now. And I'm just going to really just start blending that foundation into the skin. Now, for me, what I found out when I tend to do this, it really gives you more of a flawless look and it just makes sure that you have distributed the foundation all over your face evenly so I just like to go back in with that it just makes it look a little bit more blended for me and that's just the way that I've been liking it lately always try to bring it down the neck area as well guys you don't want that whole foundation line that is like the worst thing and it's definitely one of my pet peeves so yeah so there we have that and as you can see, when you put the foundation on, I just use a damp beauty blender, but this foundation is kind of giving off that whole dewy appearance. I think you guys can kind of pick it up on camera how the, the sides of my face look a little um, dewy. And the foundation has actually already set because I answered a phone call, which I'm probably going to get another one here in a little bit. So what the foundation claims is it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hydrolonic acid so for a smoother appearance now I have used this foundation before guys and I have to say for someone that has dry skin like I do I'm not really a big fan of it however I did want you guys to go ahead and see how it applies so now I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way concealer which is the I think it was called Radiant something. Radiant Concealer. Natural Radiant Concealer. It's not like another concealer we know of. I'll probably be doing a um, battle of the brands on those two. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead now and put this underneath my eye area. Now taking this out, guys, this is actually a really kind of a thick formula concealer from what I've been using. Of course, you guys know that my, my Holy Grail high-end concealer has been the Urban Decay um, 
naked is it naked concealer that's the one i really like so again i'm just taking a wet beauty blender here and i'm just going to dab this into the skin i always try to get my concealer to be at least one to two shades lighter because i want it to brighten up that under eye area so that's what i'm doing now and i just like to get in that little space up there right underneath the eye and then I like to go in and set with a powder, which I don't see that I brought over to my desk. So that's going to be the next thing I go get. Um, but right now, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of this concealer. And I'm going to just put a little bit on the chin area just to lighten that up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit down the bridge of the nose. And then I'm going to highlight the course of the center of the forehead. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again with the damp beauty blender. And when I get to the center of my nose, I just take the Beauty Blender, guys, and I just squinch it together and kind of just squeeze it to go right up the center of the nose. So it goes right on up there. And then when I get to this area, of course, I just kind of like branch it out like that. And again, I always use my Beauty Blender, and when I use it, I just like to pounce all over the face. I'm not taking it in and rubbing or buffing it or anything like that in. Because again, it is a sponge, so you definitely want to be aware of that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my setting powder, and I'll be right back. But overall, it says it lightly replenishes the skin moisture. I don't see that. I have dry skin. So when I put this foundation on, I definitely felt that it dried my skin out more, which is definitely something that I don't like. But let's be honest. If you have dry skin, you're really not going to keep this on your face that long to really even notice if it's doing that for you. Here on camera, it actually looks pretty good. But then also keep in mind, I had to go back and spray this with my Fix Plus. And now I really do feel like it's drying out my face even more. 100% said that the foundation blurred their imperfections. As you guys can see, I have moles on my face. The mole is still there. The, the mole, the freckle, whatever. That guy is still there. He always hangs out. Um, there are some foundations that I put on where I can almost get him to the point of where he's gone, but not with this one. Um, and then it said 98% that the foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect looking at it right now i don't see anywhere else where it's showing that i have really any problem areas and i did do um a three-step dewy skin system today which i have a review on that and i will link it up in the cards above i did go ahead and do my orlay henriksen or the dewy skin thing today so if anything this foundation should look bomb but i still feel that it looks kind of drying on my face so I'm not really sure about that claim either and then 97 percent said the foundation provided a natural coverage not the case guys i did not see that either as i feel like i can definitely tell that i have foundation on it feels almost to the point of where it feels like my face is going to crack at some point so the foundation guys is totally not worth it so definitely skip out on the foundation the concealer i like i said i'm going to be doing a battle of the brands on this but guys to be completely honest with you it's not worth it if you're someone where you like a heavy concealer then go for it but if you like a lighter concealer um that's still gonna have really great coverage this is not it guys so not worth it as well so there you guys have it that is my is it worth it or is it not kind of video for you guys thank you guys so much for watching the video definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already also you can follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter all at posh life diaries and i will see you guys in the very next video thanks for watching bye